Hello, it is Fishbulb Geek, and after the debacle that was today's episode that I put up earlier, uh, I'm just gonna go for a straight simple mission. So we're here, Max and Sam are at it again, we are gonna bail them out. So, while everybody flees in terror, because I no longer give a fig for them, uh, let's go upstairs. Kind of woman I was hoping to run into. It's adventurers like you who keep filling my son's head with fancy ideas. It's about time you helped us poor mothers out. My boys have always wanted to explore some horrid place called Wraithmark, and they finally found a way of getting there. Do an old lady a favor and bring the silly sods back, would you? Now, I was listening, but I was also admiring that look at my uh, sword. It looks pretty like spectacular. Always looking for some hairbrained thrills. Good. I just haven't got the energy to pull them out of their ridiculous scrapes anymore. And I certainly have no wish to see this Wraithmark place. Oh, yeah. I must admit, I like the look of my weapons. I don't like the look... Oh, that's just news, is it? Okay. It's, oh, puny carrot. <laughs> it's not even stealing. Alright, so. That's fine. I'm gonna go to Wraith Marsh because it's a fun little mission. And, oh, if the shots are open, I'm gonna get rid of these ridiculous ponytails because they just. They don't suit my character at all. So. Hello, stylist who is obligated to not run away in fear. Oh, I'm gonna get. get you know what? I'm gonna leave the makeup. We can't really tell anyway, so let's just pick. Uh, ooh. Right. Oh no, that doesn't. <laughs> Every time I, I, I try and rotate it because I want to see what my character will look like with the hair, but I can't do that, so. Uh, mm, no. Maybe. Big maybe. Would that look. That really looks so bad. It says amusement 20%. I'm tempted. Uh, boring. Still don't get why that's just cross dressing, to be honest. You know, rock the Sinead O'Connor. Ooh, rock the Sinead O'Connor look. I'll tell you what, let's have a look and see what it looks like. Oh yeah, let's just go full evil and embrace the Sinead O'Connor. And it's probably easier just to- Oh, look at the little children! I feel a bit guilty for the little kids running away, I must admit. Oh wait, why am I doing that? It's much easier to uh, just fast run. Um... Oh, where's it gone? There it is. Oh, uh, Wraith Marsh then. Uh, well, let's start at the Drowned Farm because you can just battle through and get some cheap experience on the way. Where are they all landing? Ah, actually, they're not where I thought they were. They're, I forgot they'd be down here in the well. So I guessed remarkably well, actually. Well, that was convenient. <laughs> Maybe I should have gone for Bluntstone Road and, Road and then fought it through the other way, but oh well. Oh, they don't have a hope. Come on, little ball of experience. I think that's them, but they're they're functionally immortal. Oh, I 
that's actually not bad. As as money rewards go. But I'm utterly unbothered. familiar killing hollow men the important thing is that it's all over well not quite go on tell her no you tell her um the thing is <coughs> we found this cave we kind of accidentally released a pretty nasty banshee it's probably tearing up bloodstone by now slaughtering everything in its path you have to kill it please if mother finds out yeah, that reminds me. We should really get back to Bowerstone. Yeah, um, once it's safe. I like how I'm just glaring at one of them, but it was really funny the way that happened. Just turn around and look, glaring as if to say, what have you idiots done this time? It's a pity the head didn't switch between the two, but... Oh, resurrection file. Um, I'm not sure I've been knocked out yet at all. Oh yeah, it's quite small, so that's literally all there is in here. And... Nope, actually. Yep, Wind Wave Marsh, and the Banshee and Bloodstone. Bloodstone folks can look after themselves, I'm sure they've got guns of, and can use them. For that matter, I haven't really spent any time in Bloodstone yet, actually, so... In fact, I don't think I've spent any time in Bloodstone yet. I'm pretty sure I got there and then fast-traveled away to start doing other missions. Now, where are... I thought they were coming from up here, but I guess not. Unless they're off in the other direction. Always possible. Yeah, I knew there was bad guys over here. Oh! They're fighting Falgarines, that's hilarious! I didn't even... well, I guess I suspected they could do that, but... That's quite interesting of them. Oh look! Is it just a never-ending stalemate, do you reckon, between Balverines and big nasty hollow men? Now, I think you come this way for- oh! It's for a mission, but I also might have already done it. Or is that later? Oh yeah, that reminds me, I still need to get a spouse. I will do that at some later date. Right, now, where's the road up? Is it that way? Oh, get a bit of signposting with the light. They should have doubled down and just made it darker and spookier, but I suppose this game wasn't made for true horror, although if it wanted to, it could really lean into the horror aspect. But then it wouldn't be the fable that we all know. Oh, hang on, there's a chest down there. Yeah, it wouldn't really be the fable that we all know and love for its uh, whimsical style if it leaned into the actual horror aspect. Although there's some bits in Fable 3 that definitely lean into the horror aspect. Or they, creep, they creeped me out when I first played it. Ah, oh, this sword. This sword is amazing.
Oh, you could just hear the, uh, you could just hear the tune of the, um, music box, actually. Is that always there? Have I just never particularly noticed it? Okay, that's what I want to see. Fable 2 crossed over... What's over there? What are you barking at? Oh yeah, just that. Fable 2 crossed over in the style of, I don't know, Silent Hill or something. Oh, look at that horde running towards me. <laughs> if they were, if they weren't just hollow men, I'd be terrified. Oh, look at them all. Uh, what was that? Three swings. Brilliant. Oddly satisfying. Yeah, it's weird how the music ramped up slightly there. Not sure if I, I'm sure I'm, I must have explained this way. Ah, yeah, it's just a silver key. Still. After the main game has finished, I'm gonna go through and find everything. If only because it's the type of guide I wish I'd had, where somebody found them all in all the locations in a single run through, so you don't have to like look online and read something that's not very informative if you're not sure. Having said that, given how old this game is, there's probably those guys out there, but still, I'm going to do it for myself anyway. Plus, it'll be a fun challenge. Can I actually remember where they all are? Oh, he's the wrong way for that one. Ah, two hits for a big one. That's not very much at all. Actually, do you have to? I can't. It's so far back. Do you have a spade automatic player? Do you have to buy one? That implies you have to buy one, but I'm, I must have bought one at a general store. Probably. Hmm. Yes, yes, come this way. You're dedicated considering there's a banshee who should be at the end of the dock, if I remember correctly. Yeah. No, you do actually have to wait for the little chunk spawn first. That's really awkward angle to be fighting from. <laughs> On the other hand, kind of dramatic actually, I guess. Okay. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I am a badass. Oh, shit, Captain.
Everyone. Oh no, my cat, my dog must be alright. Everyone loves me. Oh, did the banshee kill someone? Or is that just a random dead body that's been murdered? Oh no, there's two. Oh, three. Four, but oh, the banshee did some good work. Yeah, the banshee did some good work. I'm not convinced the statue maker. Oh no, 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 no. I don't want to do that. I should fast travel away. Oh, wonder what his unique title that he sells is. I'm sure I can get you what you need. Is he actually. So there's no hate, but there is fear. Weird. Right, um. I like that description. Most infamous serial killer. Oh yeah, I've already got that. Hmm. <laughs> oh, I have made that many people love me. That's interesting. Obviously, people are scared of me. That too. That's easy. Yeah. Everyone loves the dog. That's boring. Ooh. I could be brute. Yeah, that sounds fun. I don't know how to make people hate me then. I thought I figured I must have done that by now. Maybe I just stand some over they already don't like me and just growl at them and stuff. Oh, I clearly haven't done enough assassination quests yet then. I should probably concentrate on that at some point. And I should also probably... Ah, uh, to do community service I'd have to do the... Well, I suppose I don't mind doing the crimes. Title is free when you own the Temple of Shadows. Well, I will do that, but probably not to the end of the game. Still, I'm brute now. I quite like that. That's a nice title. Oh, I don't. Yes, yes I am. Okay, let's go back to uh, what was it, Mrs. Spade? Mrs. Spade. <laughs> There's another flash screen that I quite like where um. Uh, somebody, a, a hero broke into the Heroes Guild and murdered the old guildmaster and carved the words your health is low on his forehead. Honestly, I don't remember the phrase your health is low being that annoying, but I guess it must have been. Maybe my nostalgia means it's uh, not that bad. They're definitely afraid of me, but I guess they don't hate me enough yet. You little terrors! You better not have caused any trouble. Oh, mum! You're just like your father, always chasing some ridiculous adventure. Have you already forgotten how he died? How that kraken grabbed him by his little legs, twirled him in the air like a baton, and swallowed him whole? Honestly, I have half a mind to. Oh, I don't know yet, but you won't like it. A lifetime of worry I've had because of you two. They won't tell me what happened. Did they cause any trouble? Oh, is that so? I knew it. You'll both <laughs> do as you're told for once. You'll be bakers whether you like it or not. But I hate bread. Can we bake biscuits instead? Enough. Off you go. Okay, I kind of agree with them. Biscuits are cooler than bread. But literally, as a baker, bread will be your bread and butter. Also, that's what people will buy to eat more, more often. Only fancy pants will bake, buy biscuits. In my head, anyway. I'd love to bake them both.
Actually, what was the dog barking at? Is there a chest up there or something? Or is it... Is there something else up there? Oh, wait a minute. I think there's a key on the balcony, isn't there? I oh, know, maybe there's not. You were trying to get my attention. And there's yeah, nothing in there. It's not like one in Brookridge which has a chest in there. Maybe you were just barking for fun. That's pop oh hang on. Do I own this place? Is that why it's not stealing? Ah, it's because I own the place. That shouldn't make me entitled to use all their cupboards. But, oh well. Alright. Max and Sam dealt with. They're, that's kind of fun. Uh, what shall we do now? Well, that's about to expire. Oh, no. No, I didn't mean to do that. Um, uh, okay, that one's... I think I'll save that one till after the game's completed. That one's kind of involved. There's a lot to it. Shall we have a quick... A quick jaunt over to see the sculptor. And see how angry the people in Oakdale are with these scenes. I've murdered them. Murdered the population once or... One and a half times, let's be generous. And though the second time was mostly the guards who were angry and started shooting at me first. Or just one guard started shooting at me. It was, was annoying and then I had to kill them. And then and then they, and then that made me hostile even though they started it. Oh, look, he's got a gift. <laughs> it's a terror gift. Literally. No, he's not he's not red. Or shooting at me, so I guess he's kind of forgiven me. Yes, yes. Let's see if I can pull off an expression. You wish to mod. Not fact yet. What bloody one is that? Yeah, Fairfax, Oakfield. Right wood. Bloodstone. Oh, I bet there's one in Westcliff actually. Um nonetheless, let's do the bloodstone one. And I'm not you doing either of do. those, so Begin holding. Anything you like, but remember to hold it until I tell you to finish. Yes, that's fine. Um, I'm going to do scary. Yes. I don't feel like that's going to be the best one, but hey ho. I hope you can sustain this performance. How perfectly statuesque. Keep it up. I can maintain it, but uh, can I pull it off? Just a bit longer. Nope. Never mind. It shall have to do. The world cannot wait I'm, I'm not taking any longer. I like that it's frozen while I'm mid leap. Okay. Uh, you should let me do it straight away. Yes. You wish to model for me again? Yes, yes, I do. I'm going to model for you until I get it right. He must strive to achieve the physical truth, some kind of emotional truth. Now, pose. Uh, middle finger. Yes, your technique is astounding. Fantastic. <laughs> My technique is astounding, eh? How perfectly statuesque. Keep it up. I have never seen such modeling. Just a bit longer. Bravo! The idea has become real! 
you have reached into the embers of the ephemeral and pulled out the fire of eternity. Yes, yes I have. That one was alright. I think kiss my ass for Fairfax Gardens, actually. That only took two attempts, I'm impressed. Ah, you wish to model for me again. We must strive to achieve the physical truth, some kind of emotional truth. Yes, you take the meek as astounding. <laughs> Fantastic. I hope you can sustain this performance. How perfectly statuesque. Keep it up. I have never seen such modeling. Just a bit longer. Bravo. The idea. Deal has become real. You have reached into the embers of the ephemeral and pulled out the fire of eternity. That's that's uh jaunty, I guess. Interesting. I guess because it's Fairfax Gardens, it's the fanciest one, so you probably get the most renown points for it. Okay, so that was that was enough uh, amusing myself. Next time we go to Fairfax and next time we go to Bloodstone, um, we shall amuse ourselves further by admiring our statues. Oh, speaking of, do I want to find them? No, I'm going to find the other one just through natural gameplay. So, uh, yes, a quick one today. Um, because I kind of, yeah, I just wanted something nice and straightforward and simple. Because the one that I put up this morning was not those things. Um, so next time, next time we'll be doing Toby. Because it's funny and I like it. So, thank you for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed watching as I uh, rescue Max and Sam from themselves. And, uh, yeah. Did a bit of a rude pose a couple of times for the uh, statue maker, and uh, I'm looking forward to um, laughing at my own statues because it'll be amusing. So, thanks for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed watching as much as I have enjoyed playing, and uh, I do hope you'll join me uh, next time where we will be, uh, well, ultimately murdering the leader of Toby. Uh, but we will also see just how much he deserves it. So. Uh, I look forward to you guys joining me for that. So thanks for watching, guys. Take care now. Ta-ta.